What's up everybody, it's Ghost Robo, and today I get to show you something awesome. Rarely do I play a game that is undoubtedly awesome. There are no caveats here, Flint Hook is freaking great. And I love when I get to experience a game like that because they're so few and far between. We have a lot of really good games, but the ones that are great, they're not as often. And it seems like 2017 is just filled with so many of those. And it's nice to add another to the list and an indie to the list, an interesting indie, an exciting indie, a challenging indie, an indie called Flint Hook. This game is all about a little man with a little hook. It's that man right there, actually. I don't know if he has a ghost head or just a bag over his head. He's kind of a thief. He's kind of a pirate. He kind of likes goo. And he kind of hunts these insanely odd creatures aboard these ships. The way the game takes shape is that you have to take down these enemies uh, across a number of ships and they're broken into rooms. It's a roguelike, it has progression, it's got great progression, it incentivizes every run, basically whatever you could want in a roguelike to, to keep you going and to make your play sessions worthwhile, this game has. Um, and so I'll set it up for you, but first we're just going to jump in. So we're going to go uh, here and we're just going to see what's up on our run. We're trying to beat three ships in a row to reach a boss. That's how this game works. You got to defeat three entire ships in a row without dying to reach the boss. If you don't, it's just about progress. So I've got 120 life and you'll see in the top right the mini-map indicating where I can go. Now I've got this blaster gun here. Um, I can pick up a secondary weapon like a bomb or some floating skulls. I have a wonderful grapple hook that allows me to attach onto different parts of the environment. And it, it's got real great controls, real tight controls, real beautiful uh, in that aspect. And I think a really nice art. Um, and I can also slow down time to help me better navigate these cool environments. So a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I know I just overloaded you with a bunch, um, including wall jumping. But I will try and summarize some more as I go. We can clear through there with some slowdown and move to the next room. Now, I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, hit that like button. Definitely let me know I can bring you more. Um, there is a lot of combat here. It's a combat exploration, uh, get better type game, so you're looking to improve as well as, uh, as well as explore and build towards those boss kills. Now, you will need to die um, some of the time in order to uh, upgrade yourself, and you can do that via gun upgrades, and you can do that via pre-run perks. So, you may have seen some of those as I quickly zoomed you into the gameplay, um, but I'll get to those in a little bit, and... Before we get too far, I'm going to go back and quickly uh, touch on that area up there. You see there's an upper floor um, that I want to real quick get to. But the game is so addictive. I've had my review copy uh, for a long time. It's now out um, for 15 bucks on PlayStation 4 and Steam. And it is so much freaking fun. It's 15 bucks on both places, although there's a 10% discount currently. Um, it's worth it with or without the discounted price. Let me tell you that. Who is this guy? What's up, my dude? Death could be waiting for you each time you enter a new room. Now that's gambling. So he's going to give me a prize, it looks like. These are typically prizes. Oh my god, 200 coins. Don't have enough yet. Uh, there's good things, there's bad things. That guy is asking me to gamble my fate, which seems dangerous. So that can wait. Um, I love the style. I think it has such a nice look to it. Obviously, it's going for the whole 8-bit thing. Uh, or 16-bit or I guess whatever, right? Old school, retro. However you want to... You want to qualify that, uh, but it works so well. It's got real great feel. That's a locked door. We can't go there just yet, so instead we'll head downwards. And I have just been all enamored with this game in every way. And there are some enemies that are optional like these guys, and there's sometimes where it'll lock you into a room, and you have to, like this. Uh, you have to kill everybody before you can get out, and you'll be rewarded, luckily, um, with some coins and some uh, amazing uh, chests that are full of health and coin. Um, and the coin are helpful uh, in order to buy stuff mid-run, and eventually, uh, if you do die, you'll cash all your, your progress into wonderful... Um, cash your progress into wonderful... Uh, XP that will help you grow and gain new abilities and the opportunity to purchase new abilities uh, from the black market. Now each time you complete a ship uh, you'll get a special reward and you'll use those rewards in the black market. So they are like a different kind of currency. They're almost like these pirate cards or these emerald uh, squares. I don't know exactly what they're called in the game but that's how I like to think of them. Um, a whole lot of stuff going on, and you want to keep your eyes out for these little destructibles because they will give you uh, some good, good little rewards. Aha, uh -huh, this guy says, I don't make the food, you don't like it, not my fault. This is gross space meat that will recover health, but I haven't lost any health thus far. 
so we don't need to buy any for now. But we'll keep tabs on that in case we do need to heal up at any point in our journey. For now, though, let's continue our explorative movement. Um, it's got very tight controls. So you don't have to worry about, like, dying unfairly. If you die, trust me, it's your fault. And that's a, a both a good and a bad feeling. I think it's actually a really good feeling. I would rather know uh, that I screwed up than feel like the game got me. And it took me... I'm currently rank 11. It took me, I don't know, uh, definitely a couple hours to beat the first boss. Like, I had to progress through. I had to work my way up and eventually um, make my way to the boss, die real badly the first time, and then reach a level where, you know, I felt, uh, ooh... Uh, the next time I knew exactly what his moveset was, and I was able to take him down in style. Now, these bounce pads are new. I've never encountered these. Ooh, I created a, an evil ghost. This guy is not happy to see me, and I'm pretty sure these dudes kill you uh, instantaneously. So let's get up here. Let's grab this chest. Ooh, we got a reckless perk. And a one of those special pirate cards. More firepower at a cost. You lose part of your health, and your opponents get even tougher. Great. So as you can see, my health has dwindled down to 60 but I have more firepower, so I'm not sure what the... If it's a good trade-off, bad trade-off, but I'm now apparently a stronger version of myself. Alright, nothing else to break here. Let's head on. This is probably the boss room. Um, but I can kill some of these guys before we even get started here. Um, there is an evil squid boy over there doing work. Um, and I don't I don't really use the slowdown very often. Actually, I kind of I kind of only use it when necessary, but I'm sure that some people will find the slowdown very help, helpful. Uh, in navigating the environments and, and dodging foes and, and, and getting the heck out of here. Now, we're going to get the heck out of here. We've reached the final room of this ship. And this way you can see what happens. I can carry a bomb or a spinning skull. So I'll carry a spinning skull. We'll go break a few more things, collect some coin, and then pop the big chest with a spice shell. And those space shells, when you mash them down, they give you the token that is called a ghost gem. And you need those to unlock the boss or at least reach the baddie, um, and then you saw I collected those uh, those little green currencies that help me buy things in the black market. So this is a run that hopefully will end in a boss battle. We'll bring you through. There's my ship evading and evacuating before explosion. Now, just to show you a little bit of what I was talking about before, there's this black market that's currently closed. Um, there are relics, which are just different things that you find in the world. Like a black eye. Uh, I got that from beating bad Billy Bullseye. Um, there's also a whole bunch of challenges that you can see. Daily challenges, weekly challenges that are cool. Um, there's lore. So they've, they've really packed in it. It's a very polished and well-rounded indie, which I like. Especially for 15 bucks. Um, so I can't show you the black market what we can buy. Uh, but I will show you in a second. And each time you get to select a ship, which is nice. Because you get to pick and see their different, uh, like, traits, I guess. So this one is the Rock Tumbler. And it has a Haunted Chamber and Asphyxia. This is another rock tumbler that has a labyrinth, it's labyrinthine, it has a devil's lodge and a chopping block. There's a pile driver that has bazaars and is heavy and slow. Um, so I think this one is good because it has uh, some, some shops as well as it looks like a lot of machinery that is going to try to make uh, minced meat out of me. Mixing and mashing perks is the key to a successful raid. And the perks are purchased in the black market and then assigned pre-run. So after this run, we'll get to those. Alright, so let's go down first. Ooh, this is a new enemy I have never seen before. Ow, he hurt himself, and we'll kill him. There's quite a bit of enemy variety, although I will say um, there's a whole lot more now that I'm in sort of the second wave, right? This is the second uh, set of ships because I beat the first boss, and so now I'm seeing a whole lot more um, of the game enemy-wise and, and uh, what do you call it, like, obstacle-wise. The first set was pretty uh, standard once you saw everything. Um, but I'll leave the skulls. I can pick up, ooh, a Fierce Blaster. That's 605. Pirate's Pep is going to give me extra coins. I can buy a shield that protects me, so I'll get a shield. And let's grab Pirate's Pep. Uh, adds only 5 to my HP. This guy is just wanting to sell me potions, perk, grub, and he can buy nice cushions. He, he's really enjoying that cushion. I want to buy his Fierce Blaster, uh, whatever that was called, but I don't have the, the power to do that. Although this room may allow me to do such a thing. It looks like we're going to pile in the coins here, and I spent quite a bit, uh, but we're going to get a bunch of it back. I'm not sure how slowing down time allows you to pass through those weird uh, red laser beams, but it does, so I'm just going to take it at face value and uh, respect it so that I can work with it. Again, I'll keep my skull, lose the bomb, and we'll head down towards the basin of this ship and the, uh, the larger 
area that we need to explore. Uh, it's a challenging game. It, it may seem right now like it's not that hard, but trust me, um, I do have a lot of perks. And I'm pretty souped up, at least. I feel like basically souped up. Um, so it, it, it's definitely a, a challenging game. It is definitely a skill-based game. Um, and the better you are, the longer you survive, obviously. And I feel like it's got a nice reward of, like, you improve as you go, and then you'll notice that improvement because you will progress farther, you will get better perks, you will improve more and more, and it's it's a very, um, it's an evident uh, improvement, and that's the thing I love in these games, and the, the upgrades are not as um, in-depth as something like Rogue Legacy, but what this does share with Rogue Legacy is every run feels important, and you do feel like you make those gains and are able to progress further and farther than you ever would before. Lucky me, I grabbed a key, and now we can key into this room. Usually, they're filled with free items, uh, or I guess purchasable in this case. It's a blunder blast, which I cannot get yet, um, but we can take note of this room on the minimap and return at a later date. For now, let's head uh, westward and see what we come across. It is a room with spikes on the ground, and with bad guys, so this is going to be one that we need to get out of quickly and hope that we don't die. Like I said, my gun has been upgraded to Ricochet um, and to uh, Fire Farther. Now, here's a case where you've got a Slimy Mouth Mage Frog, and if I do not kill the Slimy Mouth Mage Frog, those guys will not be able to be beaten. So I need to kill the Slimy Mouth Mage Frog and avoid the spikes and finish off these Flying Fiends. I love the design of the enemies in this game. I think it's just like a, a really pretty game. Uh, it's it, it, it's very nostalgic in its in its stylistic uh, choices and its retro styling. But then it has like such a nice colorful charm. It, it just really appeals to what I like in these sorts of games. So we grab that. Let's head upward. I'm low on health. Um, it really sucks that they they chopped my health in half. A tonic is not going to be purchasable. Um, I do have a lot of coin now, so I probably ooh what's this? Pirates deal. Bomb proof. Pirate Zing. I feel like Pirate Zing is going to help. 10 extra HP. Um, although maybe I should have just sacrificed all my HP for this run and been like, you yeah, know what? It makes more sense to go for the uh, the power. But, you know, you gain a lot of money in this game. So we're not, we're not lacking uh, for currency. And we should be able to get ourselves back to 300, 400 quite soon. Um, that was a stupid... Unnecessary death to spikes. Ow, ow, ow. This is a tricky room here. These guys hate me, and I need to kill them quickly. Quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, good. We've got a lot of spikes going on. A lot of these rocks. Um, that is going to spawn something bad, so let's not mess with that. I'm down to 25 health, boys and girls. This is not good. And now I'm at 15. So this run may end, but that's okay. We'll get to show you the black market. I will try to stay alive, though, as best I possibly can. Oh, I thought I could ride on top of that. Guess not. I do like the grappling hook in this game because you can kind of just keep yourself going for quite a while. It's got it's got like a night. It works nicely in that way. Woo! All right, we make it through, and I'm gonna need health desperately. And I found it. Look at that. A potion that I cannot buy. Stinking meat that I could buy, but it's so bad for me. I have to do it though. It stinks, but I gotta buy it. It takes me a 30 health. And that is going to be my saving grace to keep this run alive, boys and girls, my friends. All right, let's head around and figure out the best way through. Okay, good. Golly, golly, gum drops. We're out of there without taking damage. That was nice. Um, oh, it looks like there's a way up. From wait, no. Doesn't it look like there's a, an up, upper path? Oh, it's over in the other corner. What am I? What am I thinking? I'm being goofy about this. Okay, there we go. That worked real well. Um, and I'm actually going to head straight back down so I can grab that, those few coins. I got my skulls if I need them. You'll see what they do in a second. These guys seem nasty. They're uh, up above. And, and there's so many different rooms, you never really feel like you see the same room twice. Oh, wow. That was an unfortunate and quick death. Those guys' bullets did a bunch of damage. But this is good. Mid-video, you get to see what it's like when you die. So my coin uh, all disappears. You'll see I grabbed XP. 25 rooms explored, loot collected, raids completed, relics collected, seconds spent, all that stuff eventually gets me to my score. And luckily, I keep those five emerald pirate treasures, I don't know, whatever they're called. And I can enter the black market here, and you can buy a whole bunch of stuff. And these things are perks that you'll use in your run. So I already have stuff like add max HP, uh, more XP, uh, more perks. The bomb explosive, the spinning skull explosive, um, this allowed me to slow down time, 
blast my, my way through, the quick shot. Uh, sniper, I can actually aim with my stick if I want to. Let's see, what can we buy here? Um, adds, this is all XP stuff. You can see it's the wisdom category, the health category, the hardcore category, the technique category. Um, flawless battles, you're rewarded more. Sub weapons, I can get a frost globe. I think, though, I'm probably going to... I could add more HP to my max HP, or I could get more perks. I'm going to get more perks, because I feel like 120 is a lot of HP, and you'll see what happens. Now when I go to play, I get to pick my perks. Um, so we pick him here, and now I get to choose my perks. So I'll clear it just for your sake. And I have all these perks. Pistol perks, health perks, movement perks, star perks, EI perks. It's very nice. So I'm going to go with health, um, and I'm going to give myself uh, a little extra HP. That's 10 extra HP there. Um, I can now attack and bounce off an enemy when pressing down during a fall. That seems useful. Um, randomly obtain 5 perk points worth of perks and maybe curses. That seems creepy. More chances of critical blast. Critical blast chances match the number of your combo. Increase the power of your critical blast. Add XP bonus giant XP bonus, but this is where I like to spend. I need ricochet balls. I want more powerful... Well, no, I want this one. Speed and range. What this one does is after I get hit, it adds power. But now I have two slots left, so what can we put? We can add 10 more HP. We can add some uh, power to our critical blast. We can add XP. So let's do this. Let's add 10 XP. And then let's also add um, 5 HP. So now we're at 125, and I feel pretty darn powered up. So that perk meter is really a nice way uh, to not only encourage you to keep playing, because every time you get those little pirate chips, you can buy new stuff from the black market and add to your perk total, but it helps to differentiate and add variety to each run, so you can kind of mix them up, and you will find a pattern and, and, a, and, a, and a lineup of the perks that you enjoy most and that you find to be most efficient, um, but it's cool to sort of mix them up and mix them around if you so choose. I really like the whole system here of grabbing onto these uh, these hooks, and I think that's a great movement uh, mechanic to, to work through the world. Shell Crusher, uh, your sidekick drops gold when you clear an enemy ship quickly. Look at that, I got a little sidekick guy. I've never had him. That's really fun. And now we need to fall through there so that our work can resume, and we got to get back to Pirate Alien Kraken. And I love the whole pirate aesthetic, too. I think it's fun that it's like this futuristic alien weird world of pirates and pain um, and our little guy is gonna help us clear quickly or at least encourage us to clear quickly he doesn't seem to be much of a helper these guys are not gonna move so ow 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 did not mean to do that and I feel like the game requires a decent amount of finesse nowhere near as much as something like I don't know more of a platform driven uh, title or more of a platform driven road like but enough to keep you on your toes and one thing I do need to remember is I do need to do the, uh, these guys are quick exploders. I do need to do more of the time stopping, because that really helps. Like, you can get up here, and I can quickly get in here uh, and make sure I'm more proficient with my shots, more proficient with uh, what I've got going on. If you ever see someone in a bubble you want to grab onto them, use your hook uh, to hopefully eliminate their shield. That's what I like to do. Sometimes their shields are being controlled by a mage, but more often than not, it's just a bubble that you need to pop. This guy says hello. What's this guy doing here? Hi there. If I could slow down time, why I look at maps even longer. All right, so this is should unlock the entire map of the area for us. Well, map has been revealed, which is nice because now you know exactly where you're going. You're never going to come across something that will surprise you, and we know where all the secrets are. So if we need to prioritize treasure, we need to prioritize health. We can do just that. Um, I don't think I've wait. Have I been in here? I have not. This is a shield. It's going to cost me, but I'll buy it. That saved me one hit. I've got a bunch of HP, so I should be okay no matter what. Uh, but it's always good to have extra extra health. And you can cancel out of your hooks, which is nice too. So like, if I like hook on and want to like get out of it, I can jump out of it or press A to cancel out of it. I'm playing with an Xbox uh, One controller, by the way. Not sure if I made that clear before. I don't think so. I highly recommend playing this the controller. To me, it makes the experience so much better. And uh, you're able to be so much more precise. And... You have to use the stick, that's one thing I will point out. You, you don't use the D-pad, which I think is a little bit of an odd choice, but um, I have never had issues, and I, I think it's because they want you to have more of, ow, more of a precise way if you want to aim. You see how I've got that little reticle? It makes more sense to the stick than a D-pad, because this game is uh, much more much more analog uh, with the, the, the movements. You want to use that stick 
as opposed to relying just on a D-pad. And I can stand in place and, and aim more precisely with my hook or my bullets. Um, but uh, I don't really feel like I need that. TikTok, probably going to give me better time stopping power. And Pirate's Pebble give me more HP. I don't really feel like I need any of this right now, so I'm going to save my money for one of those further down the line treasure rooms. I just wanted to head here and check out the bazaar and, and see if there's anything interesting or worth grabbing. That's my mistake for getting poison. Sorry about that. I feel like when I have so much health in this like 105 range, um, I get a little lackadaisical with my movements. But I'll try to keep them uh, primed to perfection for all of you. Let's get the heck out of here as quickly as we can. Um, upsy daisy we go, and now it's going to be westward all the way through the map till we reach the boss. Okay, this is an electrical room. I haven't really ever seen anything like this before. Again, they really, uh, since I've reached, um, sort of the second set of ships, the second set of challenges after beating the first boss, they've upped the ante tremendously on what they got going on. All of these obstacles, uh, were previously not really present. Um, we're going to eat, whoa, ow, ow. Sometimes you just got to go. I got to go fast. Yeah, I burned through a lot of health here, and I do apologize for that. Just when I said I was going to be more careful, too. It's a challenging game. It's one of those games that's, like, deceivingly difficult. Because it looks like, man, there's not a whole lot of enemies. There's not a whole lot of difficult enemies. This, this should be fairly easy. Uh, but it turns out to be quite a quite a bit. Like, they, they require you to be pretty darn awesome at what you do. Oh, that guy is firing a lot of nasties at me. But I quickly grab the chest, and with the bazaars and stuff and the health, you get apples. Apples are delish. Um, and with the apples that you get, uh, we should be able to um, hopefully have enough to, to bust our way through here. All right, this guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of enemies in here. You see this? Interesting. So we'll take those guys out quick. Grab all that coinage. Grab those apples. And before you know it, we're back to 75. I love that this guy likes green apples. That's like my favorite food as well. So me and him like think alike. There we go. Fly right through. Hook on. And we're headed to the next one. All right, there's one more treasure room before the boss, so we should be able to load up on a little bit more health. We got flyers, we got spikes, we got big old balls, we got all sorts of stuff here. So this is a dangerous ship indeed, and eventually it's going to lead to an even more dangerous boss creature. that I, I don't know if I'll be able to show you guys today. I'm going to try my best. I hope I'll be able to. But that would mean getting through three of these ships. All right, so there's one more treasure room before the boss, and that guy is hunting for me, which I do not like. Um, my little sidekick here hopefully is going to be a good pal and help me out, although I'm not sure. We found a treasure chest. Okay, more apples, more coins. We got 75 health, which I feel is pretty solid. It's not as good as I'd like, um, but it's it's okay. 75, we should be able to clear this out. And that purple goo monster, he's kind of like an evil... Oh, wow, there's a lot of them here. I'm shocked. I've never fought so many of these guys. They cannot be killed, and they will just damage you as they touch you. So it is a horrible idea to get... Uh, let them let them bug you. Wow, there's still more mages. Okay. So let's throw a bomb. Not sure what that's going to do, but... Okay, now I can kill these guys. And I need to kill them before these guys touch me. This is bad news, bears. Thanks for that. There's spikes on the ceiling, which is not good. Okay, I'm home free and I'm clear. I just have to let these guys come after me. And then leap over them. Okay, okay. Uh, give me my apple. Give me my coin. Give me my little pirate chip. And I'm out of here. Okay, more apples back to 85 health. Things are feeling good. Once you knock this chest uh, and enter, you're pretty much out of here. So make sure that you grab all that you can in the world and in the room and in the ship. Grab your space shell. Crush it all up. Get one of those boss tokens and then add to your black market arsenal. Three more to go. We'll put it inside of our goo compass. And we'll work our way. Oh, four actually for this boss. So bosses are going to be tough to come across uh, in an individual run because we now need four of those chips instead of three so we got to be four ships as crazy as that is so the runs do become progressively longer but it feels so good when you get in a long run when you get in a long run and, and you're like doing what you need to do it's a great feeling so they're ranked based on difficulty and then they list the traits so you know what you're getting into and we'll do one more ship here so that you can get a little more flint hook action. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. If you guys want more, I definitely love playing it. So I'd be happy to bring you more videos. So let me know. Hit that like button and I can do that for you. We'll uh, head upwards. Do I still have my little sidekick? I do. These guys are unkillable. As you can see, that guy's throwing nasties at me. And this guy is... What's this guy doing? Not doing a whole lot. Um, these guys are all birds of a feather. And they've got horns on their faces. So horns of a feather, they stick together. Grab all the coins while you can. I'm at 848, so I come across any interesting items, they are mine. I probably should have actually 
uh, last time gone backwards and utilized some of this coin to get some of the goodies in the last ship. But this is a treasure ship, so there should be a lot. We've grabbed a bomb. We're up to 95 health, and there is another chance for us to... Oh, wow. Let's, uh, let's not say hello to those things. What the heck? Hang on. The game minimized. Crap, crap, crap. It's sorry, it's not frozen, just minimized. Okay, and I unfortunately took a lot of damage during that process. I am so sorry about that. Let's quickly get down here. Oh, wow, okay. I gotta kill you, grab your coin. Oh, wow, unlucky. This is not going so well, my friends. There we go, and now a bunch of shooters. And these guys are definitely easy to kill, but they can be a pain because they do fire. So, oh, wow, I've never, what is this? Oh, this is a bird. Flying evil. They're gonna drop stuff on our head, but not if we can make them all dead before they're able to do that. And we're gonna keep heading up. Because I feel like up is a good direction. To the heavens we go, Flint Hook Man. Alright, so that laser is going to fire on uh, on my saying hello. And we got conveyor belts. Yeah, these conveyor belts are not in the initial uh, area. So it's real fun to see how the game likes to try and kill us as we progress. I like that a lot. Uh, those lasers being one of them. Alright, no laser up here. But we are going to work our way towards a top floor and I like how all the, the rooms are very uh, like they're all uh, interestingly assembled right the the ships are all the map layouts are all very different it's it's pretty cool to see and witness oh god I'm so sorry I really need to just get a room where I can buy some stuff because I do have so much a mystery disc it's a relic interesting never had that one before that's good news we have so much coin um, that if I can just get to a room that is beneficial it should be real beneficial. This is not good. A lot of nasties, and I'm going to try to just climb my way up. And up top we get to a chest, uh, which replans our health there. But let's just try to get down and get out of here quick. Ow, 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 ow. Get me out of here. I got to go down, down, my friends. Don't touch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's another room over here. Okay. And yeah, really use that grappling hook to get out the way of stuff. Use it to your advantage. Use it to sort of fly away home. Use it to navigate these, like, platforming areas. And use it to save your butt when you're about to die. Um, this looks very scary and dangerous. What the heck? That's a good jump. That's a good jump, my buddy. And I'm hoping that we come across something cool, but it most likely is going to be the boss room. Oh, God. Craparella. This is not looking fun at all. Nasty, nasty, nasty. I gotta kill this guy before he keeps barfing at me. Hey! You're shooting all your babies, and I don't like it. All right, looks like we navigated the boss room with ease. Oh, I did a good job. And there are spinning skulls. I could head backwards to try to pick up some more treasure, and I probably should. The risk, though, is that when we go backwards, we may I, I can't go backwards. I'm going to go forwards, actually. And uh, what we'll do is we'll use all of this coin on the next area. Because if we die on the way to a treasure room, and then either don't find anything good or don't you know, just die before we even get there. It's gonna be bad news. That's a different shell, but it still only has one token. We're building up our black market uh, currency, but we only have two boss tokens out of the four. But luckily, oh, he gave me a bonus. You see that? A nice bonus for getting through that one quickly. So sometimes it does pay to pass through some of the rooms. We have 55 health. You see how much it hurt us when we lost half our health uh, in that first ship, the first run. And now we're moving. Um, battalion on board, platoon on board, spectral squad. This is all bad. Tiptonius Jones, Tip Salon, Doom Sanctuary, Larder. It's a bigger ship. Battalion, platoon, spectral squad. This one has battalions and it's foggy, but it's a small ship. So I think we'll do that. And I guess I wasn't planning on doing this, but I guess I'll give you guys one more ship. I want to do it. I want to see this through. And I want to get to that boss. <sighs> I fully recommend this game. I mean, obviously, it's not for everybody, and, you know, it, it does have an old-school feel. It's got the roguelike elements. It has uh, a little, some, you know, some challenging, uh, you know, gameplay and some old-school uh, visuals and, and trappings of kind of a retro uh, fun fest, but it's, it's, it's just phenomenal, and I love what they've done. I played this game at PAX um, about a year ago, and I was so eager for it to come out. I think it would be perfect on the Switch. I hope that they do decide at some point to bring this bad boy to the Switch, because I think it is a phenomenal Switch game. I would love to have this. It would be a title I'd bring with me everywhere, and, it, and it's, it's like the perfect new roguelike, right? Because, you know, there is Binding of Isaac, but we've played a lot of Binding of Isaac, and it does have new elements. Um, and then, you know, Has-Been Heroes is fun, but it's not really, uh, it doesn't have the progression 
um, that I, I really enjoy from my roguelikes, and to me this scratches the same itch as like a rogue legacy, except I feel even, in some ways, a cooler, uh, cooler look, cooler mechanics. Um, and, you know, some people like Rogue Legacy better, some people like this better, and some people like just all of them at once. That was a big room, and I guess that's what it means by Battalion on board. Uh, they are going to really try and wreck your day with all of the enemy encounters. Dang, dude, that was a lot. Now let's head up one more time and see what we can find. Um, some very evil saw blades here, and I'm going to risk it to get the biscuit, coin me up, and get the heck out of here. Aha! Uh -huh. No key, ow, didn't realize, ah! So I gotta go up and then over, just to get a few more coins. God, and it's another bad room. Um, I'm gonna activate my skulls to help me out here. These guys should hopefully spin their way through and take some dudes out. Uh, you send them out kind of like a whirling dervish and they just kinda go crazy. Um, and maybe that's not the best way to use them. Maybe I should've waited for more of a boss type room, but I need to stay alive, so I'm gonna do anything I can. Uh, to dodge my way through. Uh, please don't! Gosh darn it, I only have five health left. This is bad. And I haven't even had a chance to spend it on anything, which is what bums me the most, you know? I got all this money, and I I haven't even bought any- Oh, crap, 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 crap. This could be the end of me if I'm not careful. Okay. This guy cannot- I don't think he can fire down. Good. Please be the end of this room. It's probably not. There's probably another wave. Oh my golly goodness, so many waves of bad dudes, right? Oh, this ship is just full of horrors. Horror after horror after horror. It's so nasty up in here. Okay, good. Oh, my God. And yes, it is not over. It's not over until the coin purse empties completely. I feel like we're just busting piggy banks in here. You've got to be joking. How many waves are there going to be? Oh, God. Okay, pull off his thing. I wish that my little assistant would help me fight instead of just rewarding me. Can you reward me by helping out? Oh, my God. Somehow we survived with five health, and that's where this game gets super exhilarating. Luckily... I pick up uh, a bunch of apples, and that is good news. Um, I will say that a lot of times, the, like, the obstacles will, will surprise you, and they'll come and just kill you without you being really even aware. Um, this is odd and dangerous looking. Wow, okay. So this is a tricky little area. But it's going to lead us to, I'm guessing, the boss? No? Hmm. Looks like the boss is one higher. I, I'm gonna go back down and explore because I need to spend this coin on something, right? I feel like I feel like we owe it to you. We owe it to ourselves to get something with all this money before we get out of here. These lasers are gonna appear. There's a, there's a room right here. All right, this is good. Yes, a shop. Okay, a tonic for 960. Let's buy the tonic. Oh, full health, baby. And now this run just might reach the boss. Dang. All right, I feel confident now to go all the way up. All the way up. Nothing can stop me. Alright. So let's see if we can bust our way through. And, uh, it... Oh, no, 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 no. I did not realize those were spikes. But this should be the boss up here? Yeah. Or the mini-boss, I guess. Not really a boss. It's like a mini-boss wave. Um, sometimes you will have an actual mini-boss rather than the wave type thing. Um, and that's far scarier because at one point... Um, I fought a mini-boss that was reminiscent of an a the actual first boss I fought, and that was terrifying. Um, but sometimes they're also just more difficult versions of these kind of enemies. There we go, punish that dude. Uh, because this is a battalion on board, or a squadron on board, or whatever, we're, we're facing off against a lot more foes than we normally would. Luckily, this room seems to be full of easy guys. I'm really replenishing my stock. I'm back up already almost uh, to another full 900. I could grab a tonic if I needed to. Probably not going to be necessary, although it would be great to buy before the inevitable boss if we can make it that far. I'm really actually surprised. I'm impressed with how well we're doing. Did not think I'd make it this far. Um, and it seems like we've got a chance after beating the boss. Wow, okay, so here's a mini boss. This guy is incredibly difficult and I guess I uh, did a bad thing and bit off more than I could chew because as you can see, his laser sucks. But we made it through. That was the actual mini boss actually. Okay, so you did get a mini boss. I thought up the top here was the, the mini boss, but it wasn't. It was just a, a bad, baddy room. The actual boss was that dude firing laser blazers out of his face. Um, there's another chest. Replenish. Spin the wheel. Grab the map. Not that we really need it at this point. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to get the heck out of here. The map has been revealed. Nope. Crap. Let's go back up and over. And we will mosey our way. Through the next area, grab a few coin, get the heck out of here. 
I'm impressed. We've done really, really well. This has been a phenomenal run. Uh, and one that is looking like it may end up in a boss battle. I wish we would pop, you know, a, a three or two of those uh, boss tokens, but instead we got one. <laughs> we grab our anchor and get the heck out of here. And that is the way of the world. That is the way of the world. Okay. So, oh my god, we got giant ships. If you guys want to see a giant ship and a boss, let me know. I'll bring you another Flint Hook video. I love this game, so I'd love to play more. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. It's really good. You want to get it yourself, like I said, PS4, Steam. I pray one day it comes to the Switch. But for now, those two platforms, fantastic on both. I played it on both. I have it on both. I got the review code on PC and then uh, purchased on PS4 just to support the devs because I love what they're doing here and I love this game. It's, it's immaculate. It's, it's absolutely epic. So I love the progression. I love the systems. I love the look. I love the feel. I love Flint Hook. And I love you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Until next time, everybody, have a fantastic day. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and want more. Drink so much. Have a fantastic day. I love you again, 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 again. Just like this game. Again and again and again. We'll see you all later.